Hey everyone, Bill and Gary here with KB Trucks. Hello. Where are we at, hon, and what are we doing? We are in Stillwater, Minnesota, and we are about ready to check out the US, no, not US, the World Championship Snow Sculpture Competition. This is the inaugural season, not first annual. I have a writer who, that's one of, a friend of mine, that's one of his pet peeves. It's not first annual, it's inaugural. It's the inaugural World <laughs> Snow Sculpting Competition. And on top of that, there's a couple other things, so we're gonna go check it out. But to give you a point of reference, there is the lift bridge. Uh, kind of a hard landmark to miss, but uh, the snow sculpting and everything, we're in the park directly north of that. So let's go take a look. Over here they got a uh, ice skating rink uh, that looks like it's open to the public, but you have to sign a waiver uh, to uh, go out there. And no one has any ice skates on, but sure. Apparently they want people to walk one way around the sculptures, so we're gonna follow the signs. Well, they have sculptors from uh, several countries, including the US, Canada, and up first here, this kind of looks like a bull that's on its head. That's creative. So we're gonna hear a team from USA. And they have a Native American canoe. The sculptures are huge. We're on the riverside. And this seems to be the back side of a lot of the uh, sculptors, so we'll get to the front here in a second. That looks like a genie. Can't quite tell what this is yet. Still kind of on the back side of a lot of these, but uh, we saw this guy is working on the back. Wow. I can't tell what's ahead or what, and he's inside. He's in the carving inside. We're gonna walk over to the front of the sculpture so we can see the front sides. Uh, but the way how they did this is they had these uh, big structures up that were uh, 10 foot high by 10 foot wide by 10 foot wide uh, that they had volunteers get into that would stomp the snow down. So they had a snow stomp thing. And they filled the snow with uh, with front end loaders and the conveyor belt and whatever to dump the snow into these boxes and then the volunteers pat the snow down so they'd be nice and uh, thick so that they can carve into them. This first one here coming from the north going south, uh, it's from Germany. It looks kind of a G-match, has like a geometric shape to it, unique. The second one here, this is a team from Wisconsin. Uh, looks like a woman smelling a rose. That's pretty. This is interesting to watch. It's almost like he's using a cheese grater or something to, to whittle down the snow to get uh, some of those fine details. It's just fascinating me. Look at the detail on those roses. That is amazing. Oh, next, team number eight. This They're from the U.S. Uh, sculpture title is Repo Man. And something that's interesting is they have like little sculptures in front of this one, at least, of what a, the final product's supposed to look like. Look at that. That's awesome with the sunglasses and everything. This is a Canadian team. And uh, we've got some kids on a, on, a, on a horse, wood horse. And this is actually right down here. He's like carving uh, the support here away from uh, the rocker part of the horse. And they're going to get rid of that eventually. Oh, yeah. But they left it up there to help with the support You're while they right. carved. See that? He's separating it from the sculpture. He's gonna take off another piece. He's gonna work his way down. Oh, nice, I got some fire pits up. If I sound muffled, I had to uh, upgrade my uh, my hat situation here. It's a, it's a heat wave though. It's uh, double double positive digits at 10 it degrees. It's above zero, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, we worked in that park. Team six here is from Wisconsin. The name of their sculpture is Harmonious Ascensions. <laughs> Ascension? I cannot speak. You can see him work on the detail of the face. Just incredible detail again. All these sculptures are just fantastic. Wow. Dude, that's the only way that I could get six pack abs is if uh, someone make a sculpture out of me in snow and they carve the abs in there. But, uh, wow, this is beautiful. Team five here is actually from Ecuador and you can see he is carefully Cutting off the support structure from the sculpture. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there we go. He made it. Yeah. <laughs> Round of applause from the crowd. <laughs> I just got to smooth it out. Oh. Team four here is from Minnesota, the Snow Cowboys. Uh, their sculpture is one person's trash. It looks like a, a genie coming out of a trash can. That's that's cool. I got a new haircut. So you can see like the trash can there is kind of like the lamp where the genie's coming out of. And he's just happy to be here. So I actually saw the uh, front side of this, which is actually the back side of everyone else's. I don't know how else to describe that. Um, but this was like the first, uh, second sculpture we saw. Uh, and again, you can see kind of the uh, parts that are going to go in there. We saw the Native American in the canoe um, and the pine trees. Oh, there's an eagle in there too. I didn't notice that before. And now we're kind of back where we came in because we came in along that side and walked on that side of the path. But this team here is from Turkey uh, and they're sculpting um, a bull on its head. So it's balancing on its horns. It's kind of hard to see from here on the on camera, I'm sure. So you can see from here, he's working on the horns there that the uh, bull is balancing on. And there's its head and front paws. And it's sitting on its head there with the bridge in the background. It's still cool. So I'd say we kind of got here at a good time. Yep. Uh, the carving is supposed to end this afternoon for the competition. And this afternoon, they will uh, that's when they'll announce the official winner. There's also like a people's choice thing, so people can vote for their favorite. Uh, I don't know if we'll be around here for that long, but we got here at a good time uh, to see them all kind of finishing up. Or one or two of them are actually done already. Yeah. We're gonna keep exploring. I know there's more around here. We're just gonna go see what else uh, there is for this event. We're kind of on the uh, path that's parallel to the uh, snow sculptures. You can kind of see them in the background here. We're just kind of wandering around, see what's over here. This is a game day trailer. Uh, they have this set up so you can watch a couple of games. Right now there's a Big Ten game going on. And I think the plan is uh, Sunday they're going to have uh, football games playing over here. Hey, we found the wine and beer tent. Booked ahead of the beer tent. Uh, it's not heated, but at least it's a place you can sit out of the wind uh, to hopefully warm up a little bit. There are some fire pits around too. Right now we're just trying to figure out a place to warm up. Here's the information booth in the snow store for some merchandise. There's the prices you can see. Here's some of the merch. There's a shirt and hat. They look nice. And up here they got some food trucks. We're gonna go check them out, maybe find something for a lunch or a snack. We just passed the uh, food trucks that were right here. And they have a concession stand here. Uh, all that they had in there was hot chocolate and coffee. And I think they were both uh, three bucks. Yes, three bucks each. A little further up has to be like the cutest little sledding hill. It doesn't go very far, but they got a really big uh, stopping spot there so you don't go in the river. But uh, that's cute. And then they got a bunch of little sleds uh, for the kids. Ooh, look at that guy go. Go, go, man, go. Oh, he went halfway up that hill. Also, throughout the park, they have some ice sculptures. This one's neat. It's a lumberjack. All right, well, we took a little break and we got some lunch. Very yummy. And I wanted to eat local establishments here <laughs> in downtown Stillwater. Uh, if you want, we actually did a video uh, last summer where we explored through downtown Stillwater, so we're going to leave a link above so that you can check that out if you're interested about the town itself but for now we're going to head back kind of over by the festivities of this where the snow sculpture is but we're going to go north a little bit and go check out to see where the ice the maze, ice maze. The ice maze is we're walking up here and this is the ice maze actually across the street from the warden's house museum uh if you need to check google or whatever for that to figure out what this is Oh, this is actually a uh, pretty decent size. This is bigger than I was expecting it to be. Uh, I'd say these walls are, what would you say, at least 10 feet tall? Oh, at least, yeah. So here's kind of what it looks like uh, from the street. We're at the Zephyr, Zephyr Theater. Uh, I'm not sure how you can tell, but over there, there's uh, Olaf 
and the princesses, um, Anna and Elsa. They got some uh, ice sculptures out in the front there. And here at the end, I think that's the end, to uh, have a pair of slides. There we go, there's somebody. Oh, big uh, thing of flame came out of that block of ice over there. Just missed it. There you can see the princesses better. So it looks like you can meet with them. So unfortunately we're not gonna visit the uh, ice maze today. Uh, we didn't think about it and we looked it up <laughs> when we were at lunch. And it turns out you need to have reservations in advance, buy tickets online. Uh, and they were sold out for today. Uh, but what are, the Whoa. what are the details on that, huh? <laughs> details are it's uh, $20 for adults. I believe it was $15 for kids. So make sure you buy your tickets online. And if you're over 100, it's free. Ooh, that's nice to know. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Guess I'll come back here in like 60 years. <laughs> We're just wrapping up our little trip here to Stillwater for the for, for the inaugural. Let me say first for the inaugural um, snow sculpting world snow sculpting championship. championship. And uh, what do you think? Did you have fun? Yeah, it's, I mean, all these, it's amazing what people can do with a big giant block of snow. Very creative, yeah. Very creative, and really just, cool. And they just made the announcement there's like less than five minutes for the competition to wrap up. Uh, the results they're gonna save that tonight. But if you did not make it out here this weekend for the snow sculpting, uh, Weather permitting, they're supposed to be up here next weekend still. They're gonna have another event in town called Fire Nights, I believe is what it's called. And then it could be up for weeks past that if you haven't made out. Oh, same thing with the, um, I, with the, the ice, ice maze. maze. That ice is maze. until February 20th. Yeah, so you still got time to find tickets to come to that too. But I wanna thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. You watch KB Tricks. Please do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Until next time, good luck and have fun. <laughs> See ya.